custom fields in Breezy Cloud. We are pretty excited about it and uh, we thank you for uh, taking the time to beta test this functionality. Let me show you around. Here I am on the beta setup in um, Breezy Cloud. Before you access this link in your uh, email, um, make sure you log out from, uh, from Breezy Cloud if you are already logged in and then access the, the beta link. What you'll do is uh, create a new project. Uh, it's important to know that all the projects you create here and test will be deleted. So don't uh, do some uh, custom work or something important for production. This is a beta install uh, on our server. So everything will be scratched uh, after we finish with the beta. You'll create a project. Edit it with Breezy. And here in the sidebar, uh, you'll uh, be able to access a new functionality here uh, at the bottom called uh, create custom asset. So here you'll be able to create a custom asset. Let, let's, uh, let's create one now. Let's say um, car, cars. Uh, we are still working here to address a couple of usability issues, but what you'll select here in the drop down select is uh, the type of asset you are creating. So, uh, for example, we are creating single, uh, uh, single um, assets. So uh, this will be a single editor. And from here at the bottom, you'll add fields, uh, all sorts of fields. Let me just add a couple of them, uh, email and then uh, image. And if you click any field, you'll get a bunch of options to edit and modify all sorts of parameters here, make it required and things like that. And when you, when you create this asset, you'll see it here in the, in the sidebar and you'll be able to add new cars in our, uh, in our example. Let's uh, add another custom asset and this uh, one it will be brand we want to have the brands for our cars brands and this will be the type of asset it will be an archive because uh, brands are um, there will be uh, categories for our cars so this will be an archive editor and again we'll add some uh, some custom fields here. Maybe we'll want a brand name and a brand logo and you can uh, go crazy on uh, a brand link maybe. Brand name. Brand logo. Okay. And we create this and continue. You'll see brands here in the sidebar as well. And um, in order to link the brands with the cars, you'll go into the cars and uh, edit the custom asset from this gear. And here in the car uh, asset, we'll want uh, to add a reference. Uh, this, there are two types of references here. Uh, we have one-on-one -on -one references and multi-references. One-on-one -on -one will be um, uh, used, uh, for example, for authors. If you have articles, you'll have uh, articles uh, created by one author and um, multi-reference will be uh, something like tags, for example. Uh, for our cars example, we need the one-on-one -on -one reference because the brands are one car, it's one brand, so you can't have uh, multiple uh, one car to multiple brands. So how we link this the reference, we'll uh, call it here brands. And on the reference option, we'll select uh, brands from this. And uh, save and finish. Now that we have our um, cars and our brands created and uh, we've linked the brands with the cars via our um, uh, reference uh, field, uh, let's go at the brand. So we'll uh, name this brand, let's call it uh, Audi. And um, you'll add a logo and all the fields you need. Let's publish this and it's important to be pub published. Hit a save. The brand was created. And if we go and add a car, for example, we'll add um, a six car. Uh, we'll have uh, here on brands, we can select uh, the brand uh, name. Let's publish this as well. And this is how you create assets and uh, link assets uh, together. Of course, if you want, you can also uh, 
modify uh, any assets that are already here. So for example, on pages, if you want to add on pages, uh, besides description, you want to add a featured image, you can do that very easily. Uh, the same goes for categories uh, and the same goes for uh, for our blog. So basically you'll be able to control everything that is already there. Yeah, so how you'll bring uh, everything in the builder, uh, you'll use the regular uh, dynamic tools from Breezy. Uh, let's edit this uh, post. And here uh, for images, you'll uh, go to this uh, dynamic icon and select uh, your desired dynamic image. For text, you'll do the same. You'll go here and select uh, name, description, email address, or any field you've, you've added, even from brands, because we've linked them through that reference field. Uh, let's go with uh, car title here and make it a uh, H1 and the same for uh, description and so on and so forth. You, 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 get, uh, you got the point. Uh, for a single archives, you'll be able to use the post element and for uh, categories uh, you'll be able you'll be able to use the archive element take the custom fields for a spin in breezy cloud and um, let us know if you find anything uh, this is in beta right now so uh, we are pretty excited about it uh, can't wait to hear what you what you think about it thanks